Welcome to Eco Inquiry. The purpose of this video is to explain to you the game setup of the 15 eco games that you will find in this manual. You can download it for free at Teachers Pay Teachers. So what you'll need to do is photocopy the game cards, cut them out, and then hide them around your schoolyard. They can be hidden in any rural or urban schoolyard setting or outdoor educational setting. Before you hide them, make sure that you put on the symbols. The symbols are the International Morse Code. So it's a system of dots and dashes. Then you have to give each student a game card, which can be count, found for free in the Teachers Pay Teachers download of the Eco Games Manual. What the students then have to do is travel around your schoolyard and they have to find the game sign. They can easily physically distance while they are doing this. When they get there, they have to copy the system of dots or dashes onto the matching game part of their game card. In this case, this is a spring peeper and they'll find the spring peeper on their game card. In this case, they draw on the three dots, which is the international Morse code symbol for the letter S. Once their game card is full, they come back to you and they'll have all of the codes which they have to put into the letters and then they have to crack the code. Each of the 15 games has a different secret environmental message. Again, you can find this information in the Teachers Pay Teachers download for free. When the students are done cracking the code, they can go on to the virtual choice boards. On the Eco Inquiry website, there's a virtual choice board for each of the games. This will lead to more learning about the subject, as well as the ability to take part in citizen science projects and eco action projects. That will lead to the spark of further ecological inquiry. I hope you enjoy the Eco Inquiry website and Eco Games. Thank you.